Alrighty folks, it's Seppo Boy here coming at you guys with another vlog and today we're gonna do a tournament preview. I am playing the challenge at Gold Hill. It's a Disc Golf Pro Tour test event. It means that it might be on tour next year. We're playing the tournament here in Oceanside, uh, California, driving from LA to San Diego. It's right before San Diego. The tournament used to be a B tier, but this year for the first time it's a A tier. And we have a really strong field of players. We have about 20 over 1000 rated players. So obviously I'll be there. There'll be Kevin Jones, Bobby Music, Rico, AJ Risley as the local guy, Eric Oakley and Max Nichols also as the local guy and a bunch of other good players. Gold Hill Park is actually a golf course which has a permanent 18 hole disc golf course. But for the tournament, some changes are made for the layout, the challenge, the players. So obviously we're, as we're playing at the golf course, Goat Hill is actually one of the longest disc golf courses in the world. It's over 10,000 feet and it's par 69. Goat Hill is also known for really strong winds. We always play in the wind and the baskets are usually on the hillsides. So tough winds and tough greens. Uh, I think we're gonna see some rollaways and it's gonna make the putting specifically uh, challenging. Let's take a look at some of the holes that we're playing. So right out the gate, we have a monster drive off of hole one. Hole one is 750 feet uh, with lots of OB around the basket. There's a green, there are a couple of bunkers. Uh, so you just want to get over the green and you're good. Hole nine is one of my favorites. It's 450 feet par three. You don't want to land on the green with your drive or putt because I have seen both of those happen. Uh, because the basket's in the slope, so you might have a roll away with your putt. Hole 11 is once again one of my favorites. It's really beautiful. Similar to the hole 9, but tight, even tighter OB around the basket. This hole is a bonus birdie if you get one, because it also has strong headwind a lot of times. Hole 12, 822 feet long, par 5, and only 4th longest hole on the course. Like, that really tells you how long the course is. Of the tee, we're just trying to get as far on the fairway as possible. Even if you get a really good drive off the tee, you still have another smash to do if you're looking to get the eagle. But most players will be laying up in front of the green that's before the basket and get there for that way. Hole 17 is 410 feet long par 3 with another OB green in front of the basket. Most players will flex something semi overstable on this one. Finally, hole 18, 746 feet, it's par 4. You can get off the tee as far as you want. The only danger is Mando on the right and the OB fence line on the left, but that's not really in the play. Pro players will most likely be between 300 and 400 feet for their second shot. So I'm really excited to play this tournament. I'm actually the reigning champion from 2018. This course really suits my game well because the fairways are pretty wide. There's not too much OB and I can just, you know, throw as far as I can and I'm pretty good at staying on the fairways. You know, it's going to be windy for sure. It's going to be, you know, the rolling greens, which I think is good. And they even made the course longer from last year. So yeah, I think, you know, there are many players that can do good. I think myself and Kevin, I think I mean, we're the two highest rated players, so I must say that we are going to be up there. Lots of good competitors. I could see AJ and Eric Ogle, for example, doing really good here. Um, yeah, I'm excited to play. Uh, make sure you follow the action on PDGA and on Central Coast Disc Golf. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next week.